Installation of the digital timer to control a pool pump or water heater. In this video, the mentioned timer will control a 240 volts pool pump. The existing mechanical timer will be replaced with a digital timer. Cable to the pool pump. Cable from the power source. This timer is wired for the 20 amp circuit at 240 volts AC. Turn off the power. Basic timer wiring sketches. Connection sketch for controlling one 120 volts AC load. Connection sketch for controlling two 120 volts AC loads. Connection sketch for controlling 240 volts AC load. SURAIELEC digital timer, front view with a closed hinged cover. View of the timer side with cover lock. Cable knockout. Timer cover lock latch. Rear view of the timer. Cable knockout. Holes for mounting screws. View of the timer side with cover hinges. Cable knockout. Cover hinges. Bottom view of the timer. Two cable knockouts. Top view of the timer. Hook for mounting screw. Open the front timer cover. To open the cover, press the lock latch and pull the cover to release the latch from the lock hook. Cover open. Cover lock latch released from the latch hook on enclosure body. Wiring compartment cover. Wiring compartment cover securing screw. Timer main body. Timer indicator. Power supply indicator. Load indicator. The locking latch that should be pressed to release the blockade and remove the timer main body. Wiring compartment cover handle. Holes for a padlock to lock the cover. Unscrew the screw and remove the wiring compartment cover. Wiring compartment open. Wiring accessories, such as wire jumpers and a spare rubber plug removed from the wiring compartment. Timer main body. To facilitate the installation, press the locking latch until it releases the timer main body and remove it from the housing. Timer housing after timer main body removed. Holes for mounting screws. Terminal for connecting ground wires together, this is not a housing bonding clamp. Hinge hooks on the timer housing for inserting the hinge tabs of the timer main body. Latch locking and holding the timer body. Cable knockouts. Bottom view of the timer main body. Connection terminals holes for inserting wires. Wire connection terminal screws. Install the timer housing outside or in the room and level it. Cable knockouts that will be used to wire the timer. Incision the rubber plug. And putting the cable into it. Even if it is stapled to the structure. Is not consistent with the NEC, National Electrical Code, requirements and manufacturer's instructions. This rubber plug allow the cable to be easy pulled out when cable is energized. An approved cable connector must be used to meet NEC requirements and manufacturer's instructions. For the 1 half inch connector, cut off the inner ring of the rubber plug. For the 3 quarters inch connector, entire rubber plug must be removed. A 3 quarters inch push in button type cable connector will be used. Remove the rubber plug and insert the cable connector. Insert the cables into the cable connectors. 
Secure the cable to the structure no more than 12 inches from the cable entry to the cable connector. Remove the cable sheath, leaving at least one quarter inch of the cable sheath extending into the timer housing. Ground wire, bare. Neutral wire, white. Hot wire, black. Using a wire nut, green or other. Connect the ground wire and insert the connected wires into the wiring compartment. The ground wires can also be connected using the grounding terminal in the housing. This ground wire connection terminal is not a grounding housing terminal and must not be used to bond any metal conduit to the timer housing. The timer housing is non-conductive and therefore cannot be used for grounding purposes. Timer main body hinges on both sides to match the timer housing hinges. A notch allowing the housing locking latch to be inserted to hold the timer main body. Timer housing hinges on both sides to match the timer main body hinges. Latch locking the main body of the timer. Place the hinges of the timer main body. Onto the hinges of the timer housing. Press the timer main body toward the rear of the housing. Until the latch engages with the notch of the timer body. Timer main body inserted. Connection terminal slots on the bottom of the timer main body for cable entry. Connection terminal screws for tightening wires inserted into the connection terminal slots. Timer clock power terminal, L, line. Timer clock power terminal, N neutral line one common connection terminal com one line in load one connection terminal no one load out line two common connection terminal com two line in load two connection terminal no two load out connection sketch for controlling 240 volts ac load Mark neutral, white, wires as hot wires with black electrical tape or other appropriate means. Jumper wires. Trim the wires to be connected to the desired length, not shorter than 6 inches, and connect them as follows. One of the hot wires can be black, from the cable from the power source and one of the jumper wires supplied with the timer can be black to one of the common line in connection terminals can be com1 the other hot wire white marked black from the cable from the power source and the second jumper wire supplied with the timer white to the second line in common connection terminal com2 line in wires connected Mark the white, neutral, jumper wire as hot with black electrical tape or other appropriate means. Connect the wires from the cable to the load to the load connection terminals, NO1 and NO2, in any order. Load wires connected. Connect one of the jumper wires, can be black, to the line, L, terminal of the timer clock. Connect the other jumper wire, white marked black, to the neutral, N, terminal of the timer clock. Jumper wires connected. For 240 volts, the wires can be connected in any order as the clock automatically recognizes the power supply. Make sure that the connected wires do not prevent the wiring compartment cover from being properly installed. Hole for the screw securing the wiring compartment cover. Slots in the main timer body for inserting the wiring compartment cover tabs. Wiring compartment cover tabs. Hole for the screw securing the cover. Compartment cover securing screw. Cover handle. Insert the tabs of the wiring compartment cover into the slots of the timer main body and secure the cover to the timer housing. 
Restore power. The red power light will come on. Set the timer according to the instructions. When the load is switched on, the blue load light and the red timer light come on. Close the timer cover and keep it closed at all times. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.